So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Eat shit. When I say name, you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can't you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. I don't care what you are. You can't hold us like this. This isn't legal. I want a lawyer. Stop! You need to shut your mouth and listen to me or there is going to be a problem. Do we have a problem? Guess that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Excuse me? We didn't do anything. You locked us up. Explain that to me. Lady, I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. There is shit, and then there's shit. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Break right now! What? Let's go. Hey! Hey! You! Asshole! You wanna tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Max, screaming at him is not going to help. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I... I don't know. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and... stuff... everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling. Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! something in here you can use. What's this? Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Go. 
Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some... kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Like, some kind of setup. A, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's... some kind of kidnapping, extortion... conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Stop. Come on, lighten up. Yeah, easy for you to say. What? Can't you ever accept what's happening? Sometimes shit is just shit. And not everything's some challenge for you to overcome. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna, um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. Wait... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans! 
friends, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Uh, maybe something like, sorry I lied to you and led you on into thinking we were going to college together in the fall? That'd be a good start. You see, I knew you'd be like this. Oh, fuck that. No, you lied. Just suck it up and apologize, or this is gonna be one long-ass incarceration. Okay. I'm sorry. Happy? Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's, like, nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah? What if, uh... Okay, no. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens? Time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, let her finish, man. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it.
The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Bax and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just so what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty-ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I'm not gonna be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool. Okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not... Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to... kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just... knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Right. Prison break it is. Can we have code names? If we're doing code names, I have dibs on Golden Thunder. No, seriously, Max, we're doing this. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and Take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though, you know? That's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. Really? Careful. Ah, ah, ah. Really? Genius. But what about my shower? Shit. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. You're not gonna believe it, 
until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. What's he hiding? Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are.
Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? We've got unfinished business. Like what? Like how you're gonna tell me exactly just what the fuck is really going on here. Why would I do that? Because I could be halfway home by now. But I'm not. Because I have to help Max. Maybe I can help you, too. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go, and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are.
What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I'm, I, I was, when I... Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. You're not telling us everything. I'm telling you everything you need to know. I don't believe you. But what if killing ain't an option? What if you had to use science? Use science. Just like that. Oh, genius. Wait, I'll set an 80s montage going. I'm serious. I think you're desperate. You're drunk. And you couldn't help but let your dirty little secret slip. You science, what a load of bullshit. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I don't want to believe him. But I don't have a better explanation. I'm just not sure. It's, it just doesn't add up. Hey, who knew we get to star in our very own terrible horror movie? Well, speak for yourself. I think I am pretty well cast. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It's not like you could have done anything to stop it from happening. 
It's not like you're in control. Right? Right. Yeah. You're... You're not in control? Of course not. Fuck. Laura, what are you saying? I'm just trying to make sense of it. That's all. I didn't mean anything by it. Jesus. You said let me in there. Rick. I know they're in there. Who? The counselor didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bet one of them. Chris, what was I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? Be careful. Put him in a whole lot messier. You shot me. I'm telling Mom that you look stars was not so shut up. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura! Uh. Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Oh. Get out. You picked the wrong night to fuck with me, kids! Not so fun on that end, is it? Back the fuck up! Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. Shut up. Keys. Please. I really don't want to shoot you. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <sighs> Come on. 
Laura, please think about what you're doing. You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. I'm sorry. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks he... no, I, I still can. This... It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. And I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it, that's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait, the island, like, like our island, like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But...
Max? Ah! Hello? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. an animal. Do Bobby. Thank you. 